वेलकम टू चैनल माय नेम इज नार रेड्डी इन दिस क्लास आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट क्लॉक्स ऑलरेडी यू नो अबाउट क्लॉक्स व्हाई यू आर यूजिंग क्लॉक दिस लिटिल बिट ऑफ यूज इज देयर फ्रॉम द क्लॉक्स बिकॉज इन ह्यूमन लाइफ at each and every part clock is important or watch is important because without clock there is a problem to identify or for identifying some time what happening now what happened now so these are the problems facing in the nature that is why we want clock for identifying time okay so we want to know something about uh, clocks now also the problems regarding clocks are also important in computer exams like in logical reasoning also for school students okay so guys please see here what's been by clock clock is nothing but shows a time is an precious time also which can also be called as a watch watch or clock okay so clock is nothing but it shows the time at regular intervals of time at regular intervals okay now how we can identify the time and what are the parts are there in watch or in or in clock how to divide this clock into how many parts each po what is called each part so these are things we should know in this class okay see here this is a clock or watch there are two types of uh, clocks are there those are analog and uh, digital analog is nothing but which contains this uh, needles some spoons that some but uh, digital watch nothing but uh, digits that is electronic digital watch so in that way in that case we can show we show only digits that is numbers but in this analog watch uh, we can show needles or spoons some in some analog watch or their spoons point wedding uh, seconds or minutes or hours okay so in this way different types of clocks are there but we want to know about this clock something about uh, details uh, what are the minutes seconds hours how many hours are there in the clock totally and uh, how many hours are there in a day so these are things you should know in this class okay please see this this clock containing this is a dial this is called dial or face so watch face or dial this is called a face or a dial okay so watch contains face face or dial this is called face or a dial okay now this can be divided into 60 equal parts from here to here is 5 in same manner up to here there is totally 60 parts face dial split into 60 equal parts this is important how many parts are there 60 equal parts okay each part is called a minute each part is a minute this is very important in clocks each part is minute that means 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 
and so on up to 60 minutes you know 60 minutes is nothing but one hour okay but this watch contains three types of needles one is second hand another one is minutes hand and another one is hours hand in these three we are focusing only on two hands that is minute and the hour hand just for sake of convenience we are taking second hand that's all because second hands rotates one ro revolution throughout the dial one time for one minute yes because 60 seconds is one minute okay same manner minutes hand rotates around the dial or watch for one hour one time same manner our hand also rotates one time for 12 hours which can take 12 hours to complete one revolution or one rotation this is one hour this is one minute see comparison which will take yes will take one minute m will take one hour h will take 12 hours that is the difference between these three hands yes okay now we want a little bit about uh, difference between these two hands okay see here a angle in a circle is uh, 360 degrees you know that is nothing but a circle yes sir not clock is nothing but a circle so these needles these hands make an angle of 360 degrees at the center by the completion of one revolution or one rotation okay so here minutes hand makes 360 degrees in one hour hours hand makes 360 degrees in 12 hours second hand makes 360 degrees in one minute yes it makes 360 degrees say one hour 12 hours so these are the simple differences between these three hands but we are focusing these two hands only but uh, how many parts are there 60 equal parts but we are making but the angle made by these hands is 360 degrees so each part each part is 6 degrees why because 360 by 60 okay so each part is makes uh, six, 6 degrees that means uh, totally there are 60 parts each part is 6 degrees that means 360 degrees 60 into 6 360 okay good but uh, how the angles made by these two hands and right angles are opposite or coincidence these are things which you have to know from the clock okay totally there are two hands are there that is our hand minute hand our hand is smaller one and minute hand is larger one that's all yes larger smaller okay big small okay now this observe here from here to here what is the angle means uh, which is 30 degrees why because there are totally 12 gaps are there each gap each part is 30 degrees that means so uh, 12 into 3 is nothing but uh, 360 degrees that is why each part is making an angle of 30 degrees okay this is important part which are observed in clock okay now that means what there are five spaces are there 5 into 6 30 simple yes or not okay now in 
first point in one hour many sand completes one rotation one revolution in one hour many sand gains 55 minutes over the hour hand gains 55 minutes please remember this 55 minutes over the hour hand how oh, means simple suppose take a watch 1 2 3 okay now suppose at 12 two hands are coincide with each other at 12 o'clock but uh, after 1 hour that means at 1 o'clock at 1 o'clock uh, our hand is here but uh, middle hand goes through over the dial and comes to again at the point told so that means what our hand moving only 5 minute spaces but middle hand moving 60 minute spaces that means uh, 60 minus 5 is nothing but uh, 55 that is important point which out of jet here gain is 55 minutes over the our hand okay so this is important point which you have to observe next point is right angle right angle nothing but 90 you know that right angle is nothing but 90 take another watch dial and 12 nothing but 3 this is for example our hand this is minute hand this is 90 degrees means what so there are three spaces apart means what 1 2 3 this is 90 degrees okay so there are right angles so how many spaces apart now 15 minutes spaces so right angle is nothing but 15 minutes space this is very important 15 minutes space for every 15 minutes space uh, those hands are at the uh, right angles okay guys please observe this so dials are divided into 60 equal parts each part is 1 minute each part makes an angle 60 60 degrees and total angle is uh, 360 minute hand makes uh, 30 degrees in 1 hour hour hand makes 30 degrees in 3 uh, 12 hours and The, those are at right angles when the 15 space minutes spaces apart 15 minutes space that means what 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes at that time right angle is what 90 degrees 30 degrees 30 30 90 degrees. so at that time those are at right angles okay next you can see time 12:10 that is pm okay but uh, watch showing 12:10 that is at pm okay but uh, how this can be called as for example right time is 12 pm right time is 12 pm but watch showing 10 minutes fast that means what means uh, right time is this one but watch showing 12 10 pm that means uh, too fast too fast uh, 10 minutes that's all okay this is important for you to observe actually in a railway station watch showing 12 10 but actual time is uh, real time is uh, original time is 12 but at that time you can say watch is 10 minutes too fast yes sir no that is important okay next in same manner 11:50 am 11:50 am for example right time is 12 pm but was showing 11:50 am means what that means uh, too slow by 10 minutes 
this is the difference between too fast and too slow. Okay. Coincidence means two hands are at the same position. For example, take this watch and at 12 o'clock minute hand also our hand minute our hand both are point six at 12 pm okay after 12 pm that is one two three six nine okay Now, after 12 pm, coincidence is 1. Next, our minutes hand goes, comes to 12. At that time, our hand is at 1. There is no coincidence between 12 and 1. No coincidence. Please observe carefully. After that, cross 1. Minutes hand comes and across our end. At that time, one coincidence will be happening this one between 1 and 2. 1. And also, after crossing 2, here also happening another coincidence. Same 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. After 11, Please observe here. At the 11, our hand is there at 11. Minute hand crosses the our hand and goes to 11, goes to 12. But after completion of uh, one revolution after 11, our hand goes at uh, is at 12. But there is no coincidence between 11 and 12. No coincidence. So between 11 and 12 also no coincidence between our and minute hands. That is important part chart observed here. That means what? Here totally 10 coincidences are there. In, by taking this, this is 11 coincidence. At 12 only, not between 11 and 12, not between 12 and 1. Please observe this point. Okay? This is very important point. That means what? In 12 hours, in 12 hours, how many coincidences? 11 coincidences. 11 times coincidence with each other. Mint and our hands. Please observe carefully. Not 12 times, only 11 times. Because here no coincidence, here no coincidence. But a 12 is there. That is why 11 coincidences. 11 times both hands coincidence with each other. That is the point which you have to observe carefully. So, in 12 hours, 11 times coincidence, same manner, 24 hours, how many times? 22 times. 22 coincidences will be happening in one day between or among the hour and the minutes hands. Okay? Please see here, when the two hands are at straight line, that means in opposite direction. Yes? Please observe carefully. Here, this is the dial. Hour and minutes hand. Okay. These two hands are at opposite directions. Means in this case, at 12 only coincidence will be happening at 12 pm. But here opposite. At 6 pm only, those are in opposite directions. There is no opposite direction between two hands, uh, between 5 and 6 and 6 and 7, okay? These are not happening at uh, no opposite direction. There is no opposite direction between 5 and 6 and 7 and 6. That is the important part you have observed. There is difference between coincidence and uh, straight line. Here are the same meaning, 11 times. In 12 hours. And 22 times in 24 hours. But coincidence or opposite direction, both are coincidence or opposite direction will be happening 
ट्वेंटी टू टाइम्स इन ट्वेल्व आवर्स एंड कोइन सेंस आर ऑबोज इन फोर्टी फोर टाइम्स इन डे दैट इज ट्वेल्व आवर्स दैट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू ओके सो दिस पॉइंट यू टू रिमेम्बर केयरफुल सेम अपोज डायरेक्शन और इन स्ट्रेट लाइन सो बोथ दैट मीन्स कोइंस और अपोज डायरेक्शन ट्वेंटी टू टाइम्स इन ट्वेल्व आवर्स एंड फोर्टी फोर टाइम्स इन ए डे दैट इज इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स राइट एंगल हाउ मेनी टाइम्स बोथ हैंड्स और एट राइट एंगल इन ट्वेल्व आवर्स एंड इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स प्लीज सी दिस इज अ डाइल नाउ At what time both the hands are at right angles? Simple. There is a three spaces apart. That means fifteen uh, minutes apart. Okay. That means what? Take a watch. That is twelve, three, six, nine. That means what? This is right angle. Yes. So fifteen. Mid spaces apart. At that time, that can make an angle of ninety uh, degrees. That is right angle. In the same manner, whenever com comes to here, three three spaces. At that time, again you can form as a right angle. In this way, totally there are twenty two right angles are formed in twelve hours. Okay? Why? Because here from here to here, eleven. From here to here. Eleven. There are totally twenty-two angles are formed. That means uh, in twelve hours, twelve hours, twenty-two right angles. In same manner in twenty-four hours, forty-four uh, right angles. Okay. So this is very important point you have to remember carefully. At right angles. Uh, Are formed in a watch in 12 hours is 22, and in 40, 24 hours is 44. Straight line, coincidence, and straight line, right angle. 12 hours, 11 times, 11 times, 22 times, and in 24 hours, 22 times, 22 times, and 44 times. 22 times in 12 hours and 44 times in 24 hours. Okay, coincidence or straight line, opposite direction. But this is right angle. This is straight line or opposite direction only. This is coincidence only. Please see the problem. What was the angle between the hands of the clock at 6:15? Very very important this one. 6:15. Take a dial. One, six, three, nine. Okay. Six fifteen means uh, our hand is at six actually. Fifteen minutes apart. Here, which moves slightly in this way. This is exactly three hours. Exactly three hours. This one, but it moves fifteen minutes. But uh, minutes are definitely at uh, three. Why? Because six to fifteen minutes are definitely at three. But uh, our hand moves towards seven. Towards uh, seven because six fifteen. That means uh, here one minute space in our hand is of degree. Yes. How many spaces? More fifteen minutes spaces. That means the uh, fifteen into half. That means uh, seven and half degree. So here our end making moves from six to some other place uh, with angle of uh, seven and half degree. But uh, here how many are there? Thirty degrees, sixty, ninety degrees. Right angle. Again add this seven and half because our end is here. Our end is here. This is the angle we we want now. So therefore, ninety plus seven and half equals to ninety-seven of degree. This is the answer. Okay.
So in this we can find the angle between the two hands without any formula. Simple logic, that's all. See again. Definitely at 6.15, minute hand is at 3. You know that. But at 6, our hand is at 6. Minute hand is at 12. Okay, at 6 o'clock. But at 6.15, minute hand comes to at 3. 15 minutes. Yes, 5, 10, 15 minutes. But our hand also moves towards 7. Yes or not? That means uh, our hand moves at for 1 minute is yes, half degree, making an angle of half degree. Yes, so 15 minutes making an angle of 7 and half. You know that. So from here to here, add 90 to 7 and half. Give us the answer. That's all. Okay, this is one type. Take another type. For example, you can take in the place of 615 as 315. Please observe here carefully. Watch. 12, 6, 3, 9. Now at 3 o'clock, at 3 o'clock, where is our hand? At 3 o'clock, where is the our hand? At 3. But we want 315. Means uh, at 315, minutes are definitely at uh, 3. But our hand moves towards 4. Towards uh, 4. We want this angle. Yes? Between these two hands. Means 15 spaces, 15 minutes apart. Okay? Please see here. This minute hand at 3 is there. And our hand is moving towards 4. Okay. This totally angle is 30 degrees. Total angle is 30 degrees. But uh, it is moving 15 minutes apart means uh, 1 minute which is half degree. Our hand is moving for 1 minute is half degree. Making an angle, angle of half degree. For 15 minutes, 15 minutes which take a which can make an angle of 15 by 2 is nothing but 7 and half degree. Yes, that is the angle. If you, if you have a doubt, 15 minutes means what? Up to 4 o'clock, total angle is 30 degrees. Yes or not? Remaining as 45 minutes. 45 by 2 is nothing but 22 and half. 22 and half plus 7 and half. Same, 30 degrees. So, Answer is 7 and half degree. So, in this way, you can find the angle between hour and minute hands by using this trick without using any formula. But you can do the problems regarding these angles by using formula in next class. Okay, guys, please practice these problems and some important points regarding these clocks. These are very important in logical reasoning in complete explanations. Okay? So please follow the steps and uh, please remember carefully practice these problems again and again. Always I will tell one thing practice makes perfect in mathematics. Without practice, there is no mathematics. Okay? Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. For more updates, please subscribe our YouTube channel MathWare. I'll turn the bell icons to get more information. Thank you.